everyone, Zero JD here with the X-Play Fan Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Remy Lore, Lost Girl in the Lands in the Lands of Lore. Uh, it is very much a rogue light hack and slash game. Uh, the girl is Remy, the guy in the uh, the book is Lore, and they are both insanely cliche anime uh, protagonists. She is a food obsessed girl who got warped from her. She was being punished for sleeping in class, so she was sweeping a library out. Discover, discovered Remy, who then teleported them to the magical land. Remy is, of course, a magical tome who is sentient and insanely full of himself. So, uh, it is a roguelite in the uh, kind of elements of as you keep your upgrades and some of your currency when you die. Uh, I actually got past the first boss, quit the game, but apparently there's a suspend save feature that would have kept me in the second area, even though... It's, it's, it seems poorly done, uh, where it should have, like, even if I had quit it out, it should have started me from Act 2. It's going to reset me to Act 1. But everything you're going to see in Act 1 is pretty much going to be the same throughout the entire game, where you're, it's a hack and slash thing, where you're picking up uh, random weapons and stuff like that, uh, collecting desserts, which are essentially your currency. And uh, weapons have different stats, attack ranges, uh, buffs, and uh, magics attached to them that you use. Anyways, uh, there's a tutorial, there's a co-op mode, which of course I haven't done. Single player mode uh, probably is just like endless dungeon. And then the story mode, which is essentially Remy wants to go back home. So she's going through here to restore uh, Laura's power and all that kind of stuff. Of course, you can pick your outfit. We're just gonna go with the base one. Very early on in this game, I muted it because both of the characters scream when they talk. And it's insanely annoying at times. Uh, it's a very generic story of hey, blah 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 blah. Uh, one of the annoying parts of it is that if you die at like the let's say the boss of the area, they send you back to the beginning of it, and like no, that's not the annoying part. I mean, it's a roguelike, so you're gonna die. Uh, they repeat every single story beat, and there's some sections that you come to that has fixed dialogue, and that plays again. There are sections that they stop you at, and that plays again. And that's what the annoying part is. But uh, this is me, I'm Remy. I can attack with uh, magic by pushing X. Uh, that is what I was talking about earlier that's specific to different weapons, that's specific to this broom. Uh, I can attack with uh, Y and B. There's different combinations that kind of show up on the top left. Uh, at the top, you could actually see I have 5,996 desserts. That's actually used for upgrades and stuff that are what carries over. I've actually increased my decreased dessert loss. Uh, shop discount and my health potions. I've also gone ahead increases uh, my uh, increase my mastery of weapons. I got the ability to get hammers after the first boss, but I've maxed this out and I actually got a really good sword earlier. But of course, since I quit the game without doing a save suspend, which made it sound like it was just going to quit the game out there and I'd have to come in later, I it was probably my mess up. And then of course, there's this different stuff here, like hey. If I wanted to, I could like, hey, I want to start with a hammer. I don't really like hammers. The swords are much faster. And then I can level up the individual uh, goodies and stuff like that. So let's see. Nothing really I can afford. Can't do anything there. I've been uh, leveling up the uh, skills here mostly. Uh, just for achievements, Hunter to know, all the achievements in this game are a are 24. So if you're obsessive about having your gamer score end in even one, uh, zero or five, uh, you would have to play this in chunks to keep that up. Uh, the red bar is my health, which uh, I got upgrades for it, but I think they disappeared. Which again, roguelite doesn't really matter. The blue bar is. Uh, well, they did disappear because I guess maybe it reset. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we'll die here and figure that out. Blue bar is the magic. Uh, and the green bar is I can dash around. All right, let's go. And that's about it. Uh, you can see next to that, there's a little uh, blue symbol. That's what the magic is. And yeah. So that happens a lot of the time. And they just go on and on and on. So what you're essentially doing is running through these different very linear areas. Uh, and killing enemies that kind of show up. You gather to des their desserts. Uh, one of the desserts is pancakes, apparently, which is weird. But she'll commonly talk about how much she loves sweets and how hungry she is and how much she wants to go home and how scary this is in a insanely anime cliche manner. 
but outside of that weird save thing and the weird cliche anime stuff, this game's actually pretty decent. And the story the first time through when you're not forced to listen to it uh, after dying is kind of interesting. Apparently this guy is like owner was like a grand magician who would actually teach humans how to use magic and stuff. Uh, dragons respected him and all that kind of stuff. Uh, each area gives you a ranking. At the end of the area you get a, a overall ranking and that, uh, that kind of is like, hey, it's gonna have chests at the end which you can unlock. So that entire story beat that just happened, I have seen about three times now because uh, it always repeats. And of course, uh, Lore scolds Remy about eating too many sweets and all that kind of stuff. She whines that he takes them all. And very whiny uh, protagonists, which is, again, very cliche. Let's see if we can get a uh, better weapon at some point. This is like the bare bones starting one. Some areas have larger monsters. Ooh, I can't see anything. Get rid of him. Oh, look, look, look at that mecha dragon. That thing looks awesome. Look, I just got some flan. Look there, see? It's pancakes, that's weird, isn't it? Who, who sees like dessert as pancakes? Uh, so far, I've only fought robots. But there'll also be times where they'll be talking and she'll get hit and she just starts screaming and crying and it's like very shrill to the ears. One of the, uh, the first boss I fought, fought, I essentially beat him by running behind him and hitting him in the butt nonstop. Where'd he go? All right, yeah, if you look, you'll... I like that the dash is uh, uh, a pretty good. Yeah. But outside of, yeah, like just the weird shrill nature of some of the stuff. There we go. All right, so here, here's a power up or something. Let's see what it is. A uh, large amount of sweets, perfect. So I think I need uh, 35,000 to upgrade to the next tier of uh, hammerness so I can hammer time. Right, so watch this, I'm gonna stop here. They're gonna talk about the exact same thing before. Uh, the reason he's actually in the library is because he got scared of cats. And actually this is the same sword I got the first time. Actually, yeah, that one has exactly the same attack. Some of the stats are weird on them. Uh, so this one has mana cross decrease. Uh, that has blood drain, and I don't know what that is. This is the one I got last time, which was pretty great. I would like a way to maybe uh, pick which weapon I start with. That'd be really nice. So far, the best weapons are the ones that uh, are uh, are the ones that uh, knock back like crazy. Yeah, and I think the next area is actually the end of this. There it is. Cool. Ah, oh, sass. Mm. Uh, the next area is like a beach area. Of course, at the end of it, they total everything up. Uh, the more sweets you collect, the higher the grade goes, and then I get three chests. All right, oh, so I only got hammers. Try out the hammer. Oh no, that's, that is way too slow. So let's get this. And then pick out a random goodie. All right, this is okay. I think this is the one with the uh, knockback, yeah, the knockback boost. Like, I take this, but it's so much slower than the sword, and I like like, as you can see, they're dodging around the high thing. So it's gonna, gonna go to this next area. Uh, I've introduced to another girl character who wants the book, but Remy, of course, wants to go home and won't give it up. I have skipped 90% of the story because it's super cliche and it's 
Uh, like, the only stuff that they really, that's been interesting is when you're running around, they'll talk. Uh, sometimes you miss it, though, because they talk while you're fighting. And also, I uh, slow them down, which is great. There it is. Keep moving. But yeah, being able to knock something back so it can't really attack you is pretty great. But uh, I said before that most of the enemies have been robots, or all the enemies have been robots. That might be true, but I've encountered different robots in the second area. Do, do also, I've also mainly been using the Y attack, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, he is a uh, super... Wow. He is super full of himself. Uh, one, at one point, uh, she read stuff inside of him, and it's like, it's a lot of dessert recipes, or like, how to dry your hair quickly. But if, uh, if this follows the very cliche formula what it seems to be so far they will end up really good friends at the end or something like that yeah. except for the desserts like mm -hmm. that happened exactly like about the same way in each level Man, he goes so slow. But yeah, as you can see here, super obsessed about gaining weight. Shoot out those bullets. Run around. Uh oh. Get rid of you. Spell swap. I don't know what that is. I would love one that act. Oh, it see that? That I just noticed what it did. It, uh, it swapped out my spells and gave me one that's kind of garbage. I liked being able to slow down time. But uh, this is Remy lore. Uh, it's fairly basic in the uh, roguelite standards. It doesn't do anything really interesting. The anime part of it is super cliche. But if you want to just listen to, uh, play it, turn on a podcast or something like that, I could probably suggest this. Uh, so I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fan Channel. Thank you very much. See, like, that was pancakes. Or, like, okay, leave in the comments. Are pancakes dessert? Because that doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe because there's maple syrup on them and butter? I don't know. Anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the X-Play Fan Channel. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I guess, when next time, if you ever want to, uh, do anything, uh, suspend save... Oh, okay, so that's the right way. So that was that was my fault. But yeah, everything you saw there is just going to get repeated anyways. But uh, this was Remy Lore, Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.